Hello! It's me, Will, at Haunted Sponge, and I'm sitting in front of another episode of Hunt a Killer. This is Season 2, Episode 4. Uh, I haven't even opened it a little bit, so why don't we do that right this second? Um... Before we do, as usual, uh, you can get your very own Hunt a Killer box at huntakiller.com. Uh, and also, as usual, uh, beware spoilers, because obviously I'm opening this subscription box right in front of your face. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right away, this interests me. Another premium box! 1973. Introducing 1973, the unsolved murder of Daryl Fanton. In 1973, a young group of musicians left the suburbs of St. Cloud, Minnesota for the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles. They were a rowdy bunch. Uh, The rock and roll lifestyle came naturally, but their legendary live shows didn't translate to the recording studio, producing one of rock and roll's most unacknowledged albums. With low record sales and no radio attention, the group was set to fade into obscurity. Until tragedy struck... The murder of founding member Daryl Fanton transformed the band from no-hit wonders to tragic cult icons. Decades later, their following grows as the murder remains unsolved. Daryl Fanton, his sister Janine, Sally Lowe, Courtney Ullman, Will Fox, and John Bjorn Enk. I like John Bjorn Jovi. This is the story of Floof. Floof. Uh, This Hunter Killer Premium murder case... Releases for pre-sale on Wednesday, October 18th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Don't miss your chance to solve this exclusive murder case. Go to huntercolor.com slash 1973 to learn more. Very interesting. And I'm only slightly behind on my premium boxes. I just got 1968 the other day. Look forward to that soon. Uh, Okay. Next up, we've got our customary welcome to episode four inventory list with passwords and stuff. This has been a somewhat uh, uh, a storied item. Uh, there's been a, a, a little bit of a reason why this came our way. A lot of people in the Hunter Killer Facebook group have been asking for Hunter Killer to finally release some form of answer card for season one of Hunter Killer, which uh, is interesting because for me it's been open ended. Obviously, I'm part way through season two. I haven't felt like I needed. Uh, an answer sheet. I felt like the adventure was the adventure, and some of it is the the curiosity, the loose ends that's part of the game for me. But nevertheless, I'm intrigued to read this uh, season one recap, which I guess will um, close all loose ends. Well, not really. I guess it'll just explain things we did not understand. Um, okay, got a little plastic thing. That's just from the box. And here we go. There's nothing else in the box itself, right? No? I feel like I have a bad habit of constantly losing little trinkety things that appear in the box. But there it is, the Dragon Swan logo. And let's pop this puppy open and take a look at Season 2, Episode 4. <clears throat> Might we have a letter from Talaria? Let's see. Okay, there's still more stuff in the envelope. We can get all cards out in the open. Looks like our friend letter. Okay. All right. Oh, no. No, this would be our John William James letter. This one. So what is this? This looks like like, the old friend envelope. Ooh. Now we have a dragon swan stamp. That's the same version of the dragon swan that appeared on a card to us. Uh, Sticky. All right, let's see. You have received this package through Talaria. The contents of this package have remained absolutely secret and secure under our protection. Per his prerogatives, capital H, both you and the sender of this package remain in the highest regard per his prerogatives. Uh, though the past may appear to follow you, a quick glance behind will reveal that it is merely shadow. That's a new line. Do not waste your time wishing for happiness that will never make it out of the realm of death. Do not waste our time. That's pretty cool. Something's going on with Talaria. I'm guessing that John William James is now in charge. It seems like whatever organization he uh, joins, he ends up heading. It's pretty cool. All right, let's pop this open. Little envelope. Is this all that's in there? 
Constellation card. Okay, so we've got the snake with an eagle and a horse and a crustacean lobster crab. Scorpion. Wow. I didn't I forgot what a scorpion was. And then we've got Pony Man. Cowboy Constellations. Looks like it's in the old west, but the moon's there. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Okay. Is there anything else in the envelope itself? Mm-mm. No. Alright, so let's jump to the Dragon Swan envelope, which is already cut open. This is an interesting thing to see. You guys saw that I did not open this. It's already sliced clean open. Oh, we got a couple things. Was this a Subway Sub Club card? Heck on Wheels. Food Delivery Foundation. Serving the elderly since 2017. Heckonwheels.org. Owned by Bob Heck. Why do I know that name? Anne Marie Heck? Is that the guy that killed his mom? So now he delivers food to the elderly? Wait, what's that little picture? It's like a little doofus driving a car. Eh, it's not really going to register. Uh, Dragon Swan, I've saved many people from the tail toil of this world in your name. From Put in Bay, I followed the path you laid out for me. Highest regards, Bob. I'll have to give that a more deep dive read later on. Uh, but yeah, let's jump to this envelope now. Boy, I need just like a... I need a... Hunter Killer, I need a letter opener. You guys don't send as much... Uh, as many office supplies as you used to. Send me a Hunter Killer letter opener. Who is it the Hunter Killer... Who's, who's at the headquarters down there in Maryland whose job it is to just lick all the envelopes? <laughs> There's... A lot of sealed envelopes in Hunter Killer. Oh, oh no, no. Ah, my letter's stuck to the envelope itself. I don't like destroying stuff. Careful. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's cool looking. This is the thing that appeared at the bottom of a letter we just got from that janitor guy. I can tell. I can tell because of these little like, creakly thingies. Rearrange, this would become some form of that symbol. Aaron DeVale? Yeah. Yeah, it's this. It's a cut-up version of that. Okay. Another letter from Aaron DeVale. We have two pen pals now. Long have been my days preceding these chilling nights of solitary contemplation. I expect that you shall experience life within a similar milieu of self. If not already, you may find my manners odd or extreme, but I assure you we are not so very different. I know this from what I have been told about you. Anecdotal though my evidence may be, I have deduced of you a strong image I hold in my mind's eye. Even now I see you, as we are connected through the long weave of molecules, strung together and bonded naturally. P.S. Consider a man out for a walk, holding a leash connected to the collar worn by a dog. I did that this morning. The dog is in front and the man is behind. The man believes he is walking the dog. But does he not follow... Aaron DeVale, story of my life. My dog takes me wherever the hell she wants to go. It's always whatever she wants. Oh, give me a puppuccino. Let's go to Starbucks. I want some whipped cream. You got it, dog. I guess I live to serve. All right, final item. Our, of course, John William James letter. <clears throat> it has come to my attention that a child of mine, a harbinger of my new world, may have made inappropriate assumptions in his communique with you, twisting my request for an introduction into something less than ideal for my designs. This letter ends. Perhaps all Aaron needs is a reminder. Wow. What's going on in the uh, John William James Harbinger New World murder organization? I don't know. Uh, What I do know is that there is, yet again... A lot that I need to sit down, ponder, puzzle over. And guess what? I'm going to be coming at you soon with another live stream theory video to try to figure out what is going on with this box. Should I do this recap as, it's, as part of this video or as a standalone video? What to do? I don't know. Let me know what you think. You can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Haunted Sponge. 
Follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Haunted Sponge. Just look that up in the Facebook app. Um, but either way, I'm going to be doing my live theory video this Wednesday, which is October 18th. So October 18th, 8 p.m. Eastern, facebook.com slash The Haunted Sponge. Make sure you like my page. Uh, sometimes I post uh, weirdo stuff, but a lot of the time it ends up being Hunter Killer and live streams and videos that you can Hang out with me during and send me your thoughts. Uh, and I, I hope you will consider doing the, the same thing this week. So again, that is Wednesday, October 18th, 8 p.m. Eastern, facebook.com slash The Haunted Sponge. Come hang out with me. Let's figure out what's going on between John William James and Aaron DeVale. And can't they just get it together? Stop fighting. You're best friends. Until then, that is it for me. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing to uh, YouTube dot com slash talk bomb my little production company i uh, got a lot of stuff i'm working on i've got five podcast episodes in the bank that i can't release yet because we haven't released those shows yet anyway stay tuned but i will see you guys this wednesday until that time comes you know the deal happy hunting Hey, do you like that I look like I'm just kind of floating around in heaven? Very washed out. I think that this is uh, actually a decent technique so that I look uh, younger. You know, it gets rid of the crow's feet, the wrinkles. I look like a young man. I took 50 years off my life. Now I'm only 49. I'm 99 years old. All right, bye guys.